Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to install the IntelliJ Community Edition on your Windows PC. So I'm going to open up a browser here, and I'm going to search for IntelliJ. I'll just search for IntelliJ. Okay, and this first thing that comes up is the IntelliJ IDE from JetBrains. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click on Download. And this is the ultimate, this is the paid version. If I scroll on down, here's the community edition, and I want to download the executable file, the .exe file, so I'm going to click Download. Okay, once the download is complete, you'll find the .executable file in your downloads. I'm going to now right-click on the file and click Open. After prompting you to make changes to your computer, the setup guide will pop up. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to install IntelliJ in the folder that they recommend, so I'll click Next. I'll create a desktop shortcut, so I'll check this box and click Next. And I'm going to uh, use the recommended startup menu folder. I'll click Install. Okay, once the setup is done, you can check this to run IntelliJ. I'm going to click Finish. And since I've previously installed JetBrains products on my computer, it's going to ask me to import settings um, or not. I'm going to not import them, so I'm just going to click OK. And there you go, IntelliJ. IDE, the Community Edition, pops up. Now, here's the thing. If you have never installed JetBrains products, you will probably have to go through the user agreement. But besides that, you'll have IntelliJ IDE, the Community Edition, all installed. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.